FM of Kenya has initiated a project aimed at digitizing and preserving cultural heritage for both feature reference and monetization. This and more stories on our country up with Martin Masharia. In a bid to safeguard rapidly fading cultural, culinary, and natural heritage, Kenya National Museums have initiated a groundbreaking project to digitize and archive digital programs aims to not only preserve this wealth of information but also to transform it into an economic hub for the benefit of various communities across the country. Speaking during a funding workshop involving government agencies and researchers in Machakos, Professor Mary Gedhuku, the Director General of Kenya's National Museums, highlighted the successful digitization of natural resources project is to document the indigenous storage in all our counties to set together with all the continuing institutions to be able to digitize indigenous knowledge in nine counties. Also a game member of parliament Alicia Diambo has announced a substantial contribution of catching 1.2 million towards the full scholarships of 35 deserving students from his constituency. Speaking during the launch of game scholarship program for year 2024 in Mutumbu, MPO Diambo disclosed that each of the 35 students who achieved remarkable scores of 360 marks and above in the last year's KCP examination has been awarded 35,000 Kenya shillings. This morning I had the opportunity to give about 35 students who are fully sponsored to choose the brightest of game. This year alone we decided any student above 360 marks Coming from poor family, we are going to give full uh, sponsorship. Meanwhile, Mutungulu Member of Parliament Stephen Mulei has raised a pressing concern over the delayed release of constituency development fund to constituencies. He specifically addressed CS Finance Njugun and Dungu, urging swift action to alleviate the plight of many needy and poor students who rely on bursaries for their education. The issue of disbursement of NGCDF money. We're going to learn this war. And I want to urge Professor Ndungu. And the treasure. You either give us good news or we impeach you. Finally, in a bid to combat malnutrition, enhance climate resilience farming practices, and diversify agricultural activities, the Metri Integrated Development Project has rolled out a transformative initiative in Isolo South constituency. Local groups in the Kinawada reaping the benefits of the project, which involves the distribution of dairy goods and comprehensive training programs. Tuko hapa kusaidia ikundi mbili ambayo wamepewa dairy goods, tumepewa mafunzo ya vile watalisha, Vile wataeka. Martin Masharia, Look Up TV.